All right. Welcome back or welcome, welcome, whatever the case may be. Today we're going to talk about how you're going to build some wealth. And once again, this channel is basic people, basic questions. And a lot of people don't even realize, you know, how easy it could be and how quickly things can add up. So the first thing you need to know is that you don't have to be debt free to be an investor. It would be wise and you want to be debt free. But that shouldn't stop you from putting money away. And I, by money, I mean investing. I don't mean fiat currency. So if you can uh, find a way to put away a couple of bucks and put that someplace, and, and it may be Bitcoin, it may be gold, silver, it might be a dividend stock would be a good idea. Um, anywhere. Just don't put it in cash. We'll talk about that in a minute. But you'd be surprised how quickly that can add up. And where's that money coming from? Because you say to yourself, oh, man, I'm running out of money every week. You know, I get paid Thursday, Friday, whatever it is. And by Tuesday, I'm struggling. Are you buying coffee on the way to work? Are you buying lunches out every day? Um, is there some stupid a candy bar that you have to have every day? Something like that? Get rid of that stuff. Make coffee at home. Make lunch at home. Take that extra money and don't find another way to use it to burn it. Put it away. All right. That's that's a big deal right there. That's, I, you know, I have people I work with that are like, oh, man, I don't have a dime. St they're stopping at McDonald's every morning for a biscuit and a coffee. You're dropping six, seven dollars. Let's say even six bucks. OK, 10 days, that's 60 dollars. Uh, so that's two weeks. So that's one hundred and twenty dollars on a five day work week. That's 120 bucks a month. That's $1,200 a year. If you had put that into something like Bitcoin that was going up 200% a year or a dividend stock that was going to pay you dividends, that adds up pretty quickly. So that, you know, oh, it's only a coffee and a biscuit. No, no, that's not what it is. <laughs> you're, you're hurting yourself pretty good right there. That's pretty basic. That's kind of like one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. If you do have debt, and a lot of us do, you need to pay that if you credit card debt, I mean, bad debt, credit card debt, car payments, things like that. If you can make double payments, there's there's two approaches or three approaches on how to get rid of your debt. I'm not going to get into that in this video. I'll, I'll do another video on that. But if you can make like a double payment on a credit card and put it not in your wallet, not in your purse, put it in a drawer at home. That's the world came to an end emergency fund, not the I need a new lawnmower emergency fund. That's the world came to an end emergency fund. That's what that credit card is. And hopefully whatever you use it for in the future, you can pay it off that month. You don't pay interest on it. But whatever it is, pay those down as fast as you can. If you're cutting out your coffee and you're saving 100 and you're cutting out, that's just your coffee and your biscuit. I didn't even get into the buying lunch every day deal i mean that could be another couple hundred bucks you could be saving three hundred dollars a month four hundred dollars a month by making coffee at home and making a sandwich at home to take with you to work if you think of it in terms like that it's backbreaking i mean financially backbreaking if you're doing that and you stop that how fast could you pay down those credit cards with an extra three hundred dollars a month so you need to write everything down I have a, a little chart and I have, I do have credit card debt, not a lot, but I have a chart that has the credit cards, the house payment, the car payment, um, phones. Uh, I don't have it right in front of me, but what else does it have on here? I, I got one. Oh, I got car insurance. And I have it all written down. I know how much they cost, or or at least I can see it. I can see where the money's coming from. I have several different bank accounts, so I pay different things out of different bank accounts. And I'm watching it go down. And when you watch it go down, there's no better feeling. And that's a great way to build wealth right there. Uh, write it down. If you don't know where the money's going, how can you save any money? Hands? Hands in the classroom? Yeah, you got to know where it's going. You got to write stuff down. All right. And in an ideal world also, you'll have a slush fund or, an, or a, 
emergency fund where you don't ever have to use that credit card that you stuck in the drawer that was the world's end thing while you're paying everything down let's okay um we've just had some serious craps happen in the last couple of years you, you need or you should have or you should want to have an emergency fund so all right maybe we're just we're paying down debt and we take 10 bucks a week i don't even care what you put in there it doesn't matter but you want a, a slush fund to cover your household expenses. And that's why they say don't save money. You invest money. You, you do need to save some cash. And this is, this is where it confuses people. You're telling me I need you know three months worth of expenses, but you're telling me not to save money. All right, here's the deal. You have fixed expenses. The mortgage is fixed. The car payment is fixed. The, the car insurance, that's a fixed payment. If you have credit cards, typically those are a fixed payment, especially if you're not using them. That's either fixed or going down and don't pay the minimum, pay more. So depending what your comfort zone is, you'd like three months, Say, let's say three months. Let's say, um, I don't know, it costs you $1,500 or let's say $2,000 a month to live. All right, let's, that's, that's your fixed and that's not food and that's not anything else. That's just to make sure you don't lose your car, you don't lose your insurance, you don't lose your house, okay? Once you have this all written down, like I said previously, you'll know exactly what the, the biggies are. And you don't have to include your phone in that if you're not a phone nut. Um, although we're going to talk about side hustles and you may need that phone. I don't know. Whatever your fixed expenses are, the mandatory expenses, add those up, what they cost every month. And if you're cool with three months of savings, put that cash in a one of those fireproof safes under your bed or something. I'm not a big bank guy. Uh, six months is typically what's recommended. Three months, I think, is okay if you're going to be a go-getter. Six months is what's recommended. Twelve months is for the, like the crazies. Like, like oh, man, um, you know, I'm taking a year off of work. <laughs> but it's a good idea to have that, too. So... We're going to write down all our debt. We're going to know where all the money is going. We can get rid of the stopping for coffee every morning. We can get rid of buying lunch. We can stop wasting money like that. Yeah, you can treat yourself once in a while. I mean, you got to live. You don't have to do it daily. You don't have to treat yourself daily. You know, what are you, a collie? You know? So we we wrote it all down. Now we know we're saving some money here. We're going to invest a little bit. And we're going to save a little bit until we get to the point where like we're at our three months, six months, whatever you, you want to do. And we're watching our debts come down and we're investing in things that are making us money. Now, if you have a credit card, that's 30% pay that mother off. <laughs> don't invest or invest very little. I mean, pay that off. And I don't care if you invest five bucks. I mean, some of these cryptocurrencies, man, they take off. I mean, you could turn five bucks into 500 bucks in 12 months. Uh, Personally, I'm a Bitcoin guy. That average is 200% a year. So if my credit card is 14% and I'm averaging 200% a year on Bitcoin, obviously I'm going to try to pay down the credit card, but I am not going to not buy Bitcoin because I have credit card debt. That would be textbook correct and not the drunken investor correct. I'm putting money away for the future. So we've written down everything. We're going to try to save some money for the future. I mean, we don't have to do all today. It doesn't have to be all this minute. But this is this is the road to build wealth. You want to build wealth? This is what you start doing. If you want to be wealthy, you do what the wealthy do. What does the average millionaire all have in common? Seven streams of income that's right isn't that crazy so when you see these videos on youtube and i'm not going to go through a list of that stuff here this video is already starting to get kind of long you want passive income or other income but you will need side hustles side hustles other income do not tie your whole life to one source of income that's a huge mistake and i know um married couples the husband and wife work at the same place to me that's crazy if that place shuts down for any reason any reason your whole income 
That's it. It's gone. That's nuts. Side hustles. There are tons of them. There's eBay. You know, eBay, Amazon. There's tons of them. I mean, you can Google or you can actually go on YouTube and look for side hustles. And you're going to find about one gazillion videos on different side hustles and how to do them. Find out what's cool for you. Do you want to sell on eBay? Do you want to sell on Amazon? Do you want to... Do you want to do voiceovers? Do you want to teach online? Do you, you know, there's, there's tons of things. And I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to get into that in this video. There are other videos for that. I'll, I'll probably get into some of the better ones in another video in another time. But that's the major thing. Stop tying your whole life to one income. I mean, there are things you can do that are passive. Uh, you can set up a t-shirt shop that once the t-shirt's, set up and online it's on ebay or whatever you forget about it and all of a sudden you know your phone every once in a while will ding Woo, i made 10 bucks Woo, i made another 10 bucks any side hustle you can do you get a pickup truck you can help out people moving and stuff whatever it is it doesn't matter stop tying all your uh, income to one income stream that's a big mistake the average millionaire has seven 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 that would be seven, average seven sources of income. That's a biggie. And don't take that income and start buying the coffee and the biscuit in the morning again. You take that income and you put it in Bitcoin or a dividend fund or, I don't know, gold, silver. Gold, silver doesn't, you don't put that in there to make money. You put that in there to save money, to, to hold on to the buying power. Or purchasing power of your dollar and who knows where that's going but anyway that's the basic economics point i wanted to make this is something i i tell people all the time you know you work you work for an hourly wage your most valuable asset you have in your whole life and i'll say this over many videos is your time that's your most valuable asset and you're trading your time for money so you're spending that asset to get fiat currency the fiat currency you need to put the work for you. It's not to spend. It's not, I'm going to work all week so I can buy a new grill. You put that money in a place that's going to make you money in the future. And in that way, you're not really working for money. And eventually, the money is working for you. That's how the rich got rich. Side hustles. Different streams of income. Listen, guys, I hope this helped. If you found any value in this gibberish, do me a favor. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Anything. I don't know. It's a brand new channel. I'm trying to kick it off. Um, that's the bottom line. Build wealth, my friends. Build wealth. Invest in whatever you're comfortable with. Art, gold, silver, or, or any precious metal, actually. Um, cryptocurrency, which I'm huge on. Stocks, which I have some dividend stocks big fan all right guys thanks a lot subscribe thumbs up whatever peace love and comma till the next one